Welcome to the Daily Grind. Today we're going to do just a little room of carpet. A little low room of carpet here. If we get done, we got another job to go to if we get done in time and feel like it. So anyway, let's turn around and see what's going on. I got a little treat for you guys. Okay, so this is the room. It's like a 15 by 15 or something like that. I actually need to put a tape measure down, but I want you to look at what's going on here. Somebody actually had the nerve to staple the tax strip down with underlying staples. Who in the right mind would ever do that? Look at there. Now what in the world am I gonna do with them staples? Oh my goodness. Ta -ta. Kidding me? Are you serious? It's just that easy, huh? Oh my goodness! I just can't believe it's that easy to get those up. And here I have been dogging and grumping and complaining about people that do that. Shame on myself. Andy, chachi, chachi, chachi. Yeah, so there's a seam right about there somewhere, and a uh, cross seam somewhere about five foot from the end of that wall. Then we have one head seam in here, and uh, obviously we had to put this together back in here, but everything turned out real nice. This is the Anso Nylon carpet, so it's super, fibers are super, super soft, and those are actually harder to seam than... Uh, regular carpet, if you ask me, it's a nice carpet, but it's definitely more challenging because the fibers are so soft. Alrighty, I was not able to get much footage today. You guys probably seen that. Uh, one of them days, as soon as I rolled the carpet out, the client come in there and started rubbing it. It's like, eh, I don't like that. It ain't as thick as I thought it was going to be. So we went back and forth for a little bit, went back to the carpet store and everything else. She ended up keeping it. We put it down, installed it as you've seen, but I don't think she was too happy with her choice. We even got the sample board out that she ordered from and felt of it and looked at it and everything. It was exactly what she ordered. She was under the impression it was gonna be a little thicker. She had some stuff put down 15 years ago in that house when the house was new and it was like that. The stuff that we put down now, it was nice. It was the Anso Nylon, but it was about half that thick. She was pretty disappointed with it, needless to say. So I shimmed it up there next to the hardwood and all that good stuff. Make it look like the carpet was actually higher than, the, it actually was higher than the hardwood whenever I got done. I don't like that, but that's how that other bedrooms were. She wanted everything to match and look just like the other room so people wouldn't think it was a, a, a redo or something like that. She just wanted everything to blend. So I don't like it higher. I like to have it flush, but because the other stuff was so thick, it was obviously higher than the wood. So I put a 3 8 uh, shim down there and with the quarter inch tack strip and then the carpet it was higher than the wood. Yep, I don't like that, but it ain't up to me. Nope. Uh, I had her go up, look at it, and rub it with her foot and all that kind of stuff. I didn't tell her to rub it with her foot, but she did. Anyway, it was not one of them days where the client was like, oh, it's so lovely. I don't think she was happy with it just don't think she was too happy with it. I stress it to people all the time. Buying flooring is not like going car, uh, uh, curtain shopping or clothes shopping or something like that. It's a big investment. Take your time when you're shopping. Don't rush into things, okay? You'll end up just like that lady right there, regretting her decision. Yep. Anyway, we're going to get back at it tomorrow. I think we're going to be doing some... Uh, more carpet and underlayment and vinyl in a bathroom. So 
we'll see how it goes alrighty thank you guys for tuning in to the daily vlog until tomorrow FBS is out